Well, good afternoon, guys. Thanks for stopping by for a visit. I'm just out here walking around, checking out my garden. What you're looking at is my compost uh, pile that we were working on. And it has started growing <laughs> spaghetti squash in it. Look at that. See it right down there? Look at that. Spaghetti squash. There's one and there's one. Now, if you recall, I did a video on the mildew and the downy mildew and the mold. Well, look at this, guys. Do you see that? That is downy mildew. Now, I'm going to come out here and spray it with some um, copper spray that I have. It should help get rid of it. Look at there. There's some more blossoms all over the place. So we might end up having a mess of squash, huh? Hey, I don't mind. I like spaghetti squash. But I think um, I'm going to need to go ahead and get, get this, nip this in the butt. That could affect growing some more squash. And look at this, guys. See that right there? That's a tomato bush. And you know, when you're doing your compost pile, you can put your um, organic scraps out here, like your peelings off of your, your tomatoes, your squash, your onion peels, peppers, carrot peels, and all of that and whatnot. So, um, I think I just saw a snake up underneath the shed over there. Oh my goodness, I don't like snakes. Anyhow, getting back to this compost pile. All of this stuff right here is growing because um, like I said, we put all of our scraps over here in it. Our grass clippings and everything. And then, look at this. And we just turn it with the pitchfork, but it starts growing stuff. That is why you can use your compost in your garden. It is very healthy to use in your garden soil. It, it actually, everything breaks down into soil. It composts. So there you have it. See the leaves over here on this side, it, they look pretty good. But over there, yeah, they've got that downy um, mildew on it. So. We're gonna have to nip that in the butt. I had a whole bunch of black, wild black raspberries, or um, blackberries growing over in here. All of the deer and the wildlife have just completely eat everything. But that that's okay, because I am not waiting in that mess over there to pick them and then get bit by a snake. We've see, seen one too many snakes this year. This girl don't do snakes, no, no thank you. So, we still got the greenhouse up. We are going to, that's Serenity's balance beam. So what we're gonna do with this greenhouse, guys, is this fall, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some raised beds in there on each side and leave the middle open so you can walk down, down it. And then that way we can plant our fall crops and um, your fall garden and also you can do it for the winter time too my green beans i've got a ton of green beans the corn is not doing well it's got mildew all over it today we've not had any rain um but we've had a lot here lately and um but as soon as it rains i mean it, it'll flood but the sun is so hot the next day it dries it all up we're supposed to have a storm this weekend a tropical storm so i'm going to keep my eyes open for that but um other than that the garden season is winding down um so we're going to have to maybe get ready for 
a fall winter garden but like i said we're gonna put it over there in the greenhouse and i want to show you guys my beautiful sunflowers they all have bloomed let's go take a walk into the courtyard garden my zinnias are doing good the blackberry bush over there is doing pretty good look at my sunflowers isn't that beautiful go up here and take a look real quick at them that one's a little droopy there's one and I don't know if you can see all of them and there's some more yep the heads finally bloomed on them and then there's a little one right there and i want to tell you what i am so upset sassy pants hannah the german shepherd puppy look what she did guys she got into my zinnias and trampled them down and just laid in there so what I did is I just went through and kind of clipped the flowers that didn't get destroyed. And I just made me a bouquet and put it in the house. She trampled all of this flower box. I still have some zinnias left, thank God. You know I love my zinnias. And my rose bush finally has come back. I was really worried that um, the Japanese beetles ruined them you can see where they ate, ate ate the leaves and everything and i'm so disappointed the japanese beetle these things right here the traps they work for a little while but i mean they don't take care of all of them so there's some more of my zinnias those are real pretty. Those are orange. And so, you know, I, I cleared out the cucumbers right here. And I left some that was not destroyed that had the blithe. So, we're getting some new growth. And some new blossoms. And we're getting some more cucumbers. They're starting to, to develop. So, I think what I did by clearing out all of the stuff that was damaged, I think it helped it. So, but yeah, sassy pants, Hannah got into my flower bed and trampled it down. I'm glad that she didn't destroy all of them. I, I love my flowers. I really do. But I am just tickled to death about my sunflowers. They are so beautiful. I've got one down here that's trying to fall. I'm going to have to tie it back up. But, um, I've got a couple, let's see, that one right there, the head on it hasn't bloomed. And I think I got another one over, where is it? Over there that hasn't bloomed. But what's going to happen is after these start drying out, they get big enough, I'm going to harvest the seeds. How about that? So today, what I... What I did is I came over here and I picked some more of my herbs. I have so many herbs. I mean, they just, they just, I cut them back and dry them out. And then they just keep growing. Like um, this Thai basil right here, I cut all of that back and dried every bit of it. And look, it's growing right back. There is some more over there. This right here is the Italian oregano. And my lavender, lavender, I picked a lot of the lavender today and I'm drying it and I'm going to make some essential oils. And when I get ready to do that, I'll um, do a video and y'all can follow along on how to, how to do that. I still got some more lavender over there. This right here with the big leaves, that's the echinacea. It's growing really good. And we've got some more Italian oregano, some more mint. I cut all of that back and dried all of that out. So I've got a lot of herbs 
that I dried and I'm able to put up to use for teas or just for cooking. And another thing that I have over here, you can't really see it because the lavender is taking it up. But you see this right here? That's thyme. Thyme or, or thyme. That is a really good herb. It is, it has a lot of antibacterial properties to it. And you can make a really good cleaner or hand sanitizer out of that. So the tomatoes are pretty much dying down. You know, I still got some that haven't turned yet. Um, a couple of the bushes are still producing. So, and pretty much the, well, the cherry tomatoes have got some blooms on them. They're still coming along pretty good. You can see those are their green, they haven't turned yet. So, all in all, you know, the, the, um, mold or the that downy mildew it did destroy a lot of the stuff out in the garden but all in all it was not a loss i was still able to harvest a lot of stuff look at my strawberries they're still coming along so my ferns are doing good my marigolds are coming up so this this is some kind of willow tree right here. But um, I still have blo blooms, blossoms, whatever you want to call it, on the eggplant. But there's not been any fruit that has been formed yet. And I cut back all of the echinacea right here and the flowers right there. Still got some flowers that's trying to bloom. So I'm gonna let those bloom and grow a little bit more. And I'll finish harvesting that and dry it out. And there's some more right there. So, but all in all, it, it's not been too, too bad. So, there's a, a better thing of the sunflowers. I was real happy about that. So, but all in all, like I said, it hasn't been a loss. I was just talking about you, Hannah. Sassy Pants Hannah. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go out back and sit with Miss Serenity so she can swim in her pool. And tonight, it's supposed to be a full moon, and we're going to sit and watch or look at the moon. So, maybe try to get some pictures. So, All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and bang the notification bell. And I'll see you next time in the countryside. There's a better view of my sunflowers. Aren't they beautiful?